Good morning and welcome to Boitaul in the Pyrenees. We are back again for a second day of racing. And as you can see, it is an absolutely glorious, glorious day out here in Boitaul in the province of Lleida in the Pyrenees. Uh, we had a fabulous day of sprint racing yesterday and today it is the place, the turn, the time for the mixed relay and we've had qualifications and we are ready to rock and roll. We have the A final and the B final all set out and ready to go. Uh, we have 12 teams in each, as you know, and we'll be starting in about five minutes, just under five minutes. And you can see the athletes there warming up and ready to go. On your left there, Alessandra Schmidt actually not racing today. And Kylie Toth uh of Canada, who is, we, uh, will be, I think we saw her qualifying, uh, perhaps not into the finals, but we will see. Here's this, the Japanese team. Kylie Oler, I can tell you, is competing in the A final. Exciting to see the Canadian team in there. And there is Alexandra Zvezdin of Canada prepping. And it's quite the circus, as you can see, everybody is getting ready. It looks quite calm, but time is the time is nigh. We were, are soon about to see the mixed relay. We'll be having a little explanation of what the relay is shortly. But uh, in case you don't know, teams of two, man and a woman. Japanese team there, Natsumi Azui and Tokuturo Shima. A gorgeous day and a quick look at the course there we can see it looking absolutely gorgeous a bit like yesterday though quite icy quite steep so need to have their wits about them um, 150 meters of I uh, beg your pardon 108 meters of vertical uh, in this particular relay the start is the same as yesterday at 2047 meters so quite high and you can see there by the Spanish coaches uh, with their crampons on, obligatory in that zone there for coaches and press and so on, because it is steep and it is icy. Uh, the top, topping out at 2,155 metres, and they have 15 metres of vertical in the steps alone and uh, 24 gates to ski down. But we'll see more of that as we go along. Here they are lining up to get in some well-known faces there, Robert Antonioli of Italy, who is racing with Lisa Moraschini. Some interesting mixing up of the relay teams again. Um, I think what is happening, it's safe to say that the, the countries are still working out good pairings and trying to really uh, see who works best together, giving lots of different athletes the opportunity. Because for the moment, well, the national ranking, the rankings are by nation, so it is not by athlete. There we are, Spanish team coming out. That is Maria Costa Diaz, who is racing with Ot Ferrer Martinez. There we are. Far on the left there, Giulia Compagnoni of Italy. Those are the legs of Sarah Dreyer of Austria, European in vertical champion, racing with Andreas Meyer today. Maria Garcia. Fares and Marta, Marta Garcia Fares, who won the B final in Valterrance. I beg your pardon, in the European Championships, where she was racing with Inigo Martinez. And back again in the B final with him today. Only one 
team per country, certainly into the A final. So that's why you see some of the very best racers down in the B final, because they've had to, unfortunately, as it were, compete against each other. In the front row there, uh, Tony Masagwe. Sarah Dreyer of Austria. Giulia Campagnoni there, dancing along to the beat. Lisa Moschini. Celia Peria Pesce in the middle. There's Lisa Moschini of Italy, racing with Robert Antonioli. So across the front there, Italy, Italy, France, Spain, Spain, France. And they're off. The women are taking the lead, as always, here in the mixed relay in Boy Taul. This is the, first, the second time we've seen it in a World Cup competition this season. And, of course, we had the European Championships earlier this month. Giulia Compagnoni of Italy taking a good lead there, uh, ahead of Gwen Rudy of the United States, Marta Garcia Fares and Sarah Dreyer coming up fast behind them. Pagnoni of Italy taking a good lead there. She is racing with Luca Tomazzoni. But she is being held to account there by Gwen Rudy. Sara Dreyer, Marta Garcia Fares, Maria Costa Diaz in that order. This is where Sarah Dreyer is in a league of her own, almost in this small group. She is an exceptional uh, vertical athlete. In fact, current European champion of around about two weeks. So beating her in the uphill will be challenging. So if you remember correctly, in the relay race, we have two loops up to the top where they are just about to reach now. A little flat section here before they hit the first downhill. This was part of the sprint race yesterday. You'll probably recognize it. And there, Sarah Dreyer in first. Julia Compagnona, Marta Garcia nearest us with the grey helmet on. The furthest away, Gren Rudy in behind them. Lisa Moraschini, but the first ones are out. Sarah Dreyer, not such a fast transition there from Gwen Rudy. As Marta Garcia actually looks like out in front of Sarah Dreyer. Uh, 
and into transition for the second section. And you can see Marta Garcia Fab, uh, ahead of Sarah Dreyer and Julia Campagnoni, Marschini, Celia Pereira Pesci, and Hayley Hafman. So I beg your pardon, that was Hayley Hafman, not uh, Gwen Rudy. My apologies, American viewers. A series of switchbacks here, I suppose, for want of a better for want of a better description. And you can see there the men getting ready because once the women have got to the top here and skied down, then they will hand over to their male compatriots. And it is almost neck and neck. Sarah Dreyer keeping tabs there on Marta Garcia Fares. Now to the foot part, every relay race has one, one foot part section, and here it is. It is not a beautiful steps like in the sprint race. Today we see some tracks put in to the snow. Now this will be up to the athletes really. As you can see there, the American athlete is choosing to switch lanes. Sarah Dreyer going her own way, because what can happen is that if your pace doesn't suit those footholds already put in, it can really make a difference to how you move on your foot, on your feet, as you head up the foot part. So it's often easier to just make your own way. As Marta Garcia Fares comes in ahead of Sarah Dreyer, Celia Peria Pese has come through the pack there. Giulia Compagnoni and uh, Lisa Moraschini. And my apologies uh, the, with the light there. I thought that was one of the American athletes, but uh, as you can see, it is not. It, uh, those are the two Italians in dark blue behind. So it is now Sarah Dreyer ahead of Marta Garcia Fares. Spain, uh, Austria, Spain. France, Italy, Italy at the moment. And there at the bottom, look at Thomas Zoni and the French athlete. His French adversary. As you can see, not huge amounts of snow here, up a bit further up. Yesterday for the sprint, we saw a, a, a good covering, but it's a little bare, but Sarah Dreyer giving a really good, good start there to her teammate, Andy Meyer, hopefully, if she can hang on to it. Uh, her skiing is a little less experienced. She has made humongous leaps uh, over the years, uh, over the last couple of years, she has made some really massive leaps uh, and, and improvements in her skiing, but not sometimes quite as strong as the other uh, women who have been skiing for a lot longer. There is Celia Peria Pese coming, charging past Marta Garcia Fares. This will be the first of two runs for the women to loose. As you know, they have to go. When they go down, they have a very, very quick period in which to recover and be ready to go again. That's 
gets it, skins tucked right in. Marta, Marta Garcia Paris out first, followed by Sarah Dreyer. Celia Peria Pese having a bit of a shocker, has lost a pole. And as we know, you don't have to ski down with a pole, but uh, it's better to have it in hand. And sometimes athletes, uh, it's, they're so used to having their poles that I think they just pick them up, even though they can ski without them if they have lost them. Um, but there we are, some beautiful skiing there through the gates, all 24 of them. So for well, those that they've passed so far, there are 24 of them, Artica Pares with Sarah Dreyer. And uh, remember, they have to now change again in this blue zone. Sinepe, he comes in, sneaks to the front of that zone, uh, which is a really good tactical decision because even if Sarah Dreyer is done quicker, she has to get past those that are piled in at the front. So back on to Skins, but she doesn't, she just piles right over her equipment. And she comes in, Marta Garcia Fares hands over to Inigo Martinez, and Sarah Dreyer hands to Andy Meyer as they head off up here. Both very good athletes, Inigo Martinez, uh, one of the very best uh, Spanish uh, relay racers. There goes Robert Antonioli, multi-time world champion, PDG record holder, and he is racing with Lisa Moriskini. Now, tucked in behind I'm Andy Meyer and coming up fast there is Robin Galando of France. And there is Rob Angelando coming, charging past. Now, this young man is going from strength to strength. Really, uh, he was gold medal, uh, bronze medalist in the World Championships here last year, along with Axel gachet -Mallory. He had an unfortunate incident uh, with uh, on his uh, losing his skin yesterday in the sprint race. But uh, that young man is definitely one to watch. as he takes the lead and Andy Meyer just pulls out beside Inigo Martinez. And we see on the left there, Marta Garcia Fares. She is prepping her skins, sitting on her bike, keeping warm, let, keeping those muscles going, making sure her skins are all set and ready to roll. Oh no, and Inigo Martinez has stepped out of ski and that is a bad start to the first round for the Spaniard. Oh dear. It's not without its uh, hiccups. I mean, this race so far, that is the first one we've seen, but yesterday we saw quite a few. We saw Thibaut Anselme falling into the the diamonds. We saw Robin Galando losing a skin. It's just unfortunate as there comes Robert Antonioli. And Robin Galando taking a nice easy ski down towards the handover. Oh, I beg your pardon, uh, not to the handover, and there was a bit of a, a wobble there. And just making that gate, not to the handover, I beg your pardon, there, that I think was Inigo Martinez again. Uh, yeah, as he took that quite fast. It's icy, icy, icy here. Now the second uphill. Inigo Martinez and Robin Galando. Oh dear. It's all happening here, the men. Inigo Martinez, I think. Andy Meyer barging past Robert Antonioli there. Inigo Martinez back on track. Robert Antonioli keeping up with these very young athletes as he is probably one of the most experienced ski mountaineers in the world, never mind on this racetrack today. Certainly a good 10 years older than many of these young men that he is racing against right now. Andy Meyer 
grimacing as he comes up there. As you can see, a very warm day. So Robin Galando now has a really good lead. As Marta Garcia gets off her bike, moves towards the handover zone for her second and final round of racing. Robin Galando just into the boot. The foot part there, you can see. That is Ot Ferrer Martinez. Into this foot part here, and it is Robin Galando already at the top. And he is away. Taking a little glance behind him. I think that was uh, Robert Antonioli, I think that in second. Jules Gogli from the United States. Robin Galando followed by Robert Antonioli as they come in to this final transition at the top. The final transition, uh, as I say, from skins to skis. Robin Galando away, Robert Antonioli down behind him. That's not a man you want chasing you down a hill, I can tell you that. But there will be Marta Garcia and Lisa Moraschini waiting at the bottom, ready to rock and roll for their second and final turn around this relay race course. Last transition there, back to skins. As Andy Meyer of Austria makes it in in third to hand over to Sarah Dreyer. Robin Galando comes out first, running, running, running. All they have to do is touch either bag or body. And away they go. Can't be a pole, it has to be bag or body. And away they go with Celia Perea Pese in the front with Lisa Moreschini behind her and Sarah Dreyer putting in some effort there to catch them up. Celia Perea Pese setting a good pace there. 
Lisa Moraschini tucked in behind her. Sarah Dreyer would like to be on those skis. As Otto Ferrer and I think Anselm Damovin come in for the last transition to hand over to their teammates. Maria Costa Diez and Luna Dupont. And there is Sarah Dreyer catching up. It takes a huge amount of effort and energy to do that catching up technique there, that sort of, uh, that tactic of getting back on to the leading group. Um, people know that from all sports that uh, have leading groups, for example, cycling. Uh, but really to make that sort of big effort to catch up to the ones in front uh, is quite a lot of energy. Marta Garcia Pare is there, followed by Julia Compagnoni. Marta Garcia Fares should really have been in the lead, but unfortunately, Inigo Martinez uh, had a couple of errors there on his first uphill. Sarah Dreyer hunting down Lisa Moraschini there. And these are the three leading women. If you've just joined us, it's the B final for the mixed relay here in Boitoul. It's the Vert Modif ISMF World Cup 2024. It's our second World Cup of the season. Uh, we had a Valterance in November in France. And then, of course, there was a World Championships, I uh, beg your pardon, a European Championship uh, earlier this month in Flen and Chamonix in France. However, despite the gap in time between November in Val Terrance and now, this is actually only the second World Cup of the season. So only the second uh, mixed relay. In fact, all of them go towards the rankings for the season as Celia Peria Pese and Sarah Dreyer make it out of transition ahead of Lisa Moraschini and head down to their second section of uphill. already into that next transition. Great images here of them up close and personal, just exactly seeing what goes on. It's interesting to see, well, if you're a bit of a schemo geek like me, I uh, don't know if you noticed there, but Sarah Dreyer had her skins rolled up so that she had to just shake it out and the roll, they unrolled. Some of them like to fold them in half and fold them again. Uh, so it's just a, a case of a personal preference for how quickly, you know, there you go. You see Marta Garcia Fares had hers folded in half. It's a personal preference. Whatever you think is fastest and you can make work quicker. The, now, I'm certainly no expert, but uh, I think the management of skins and skis and the amount of glue or otherwise on the bottom of these, uh, on these skins is a science in itself for sure. And that is why uh, ski techs and coaches are so important just to know how the snow is, what exactly they are uh, you know, going to be facing these athletes up there on, on the mountain on any given day in any given conditions and skin management in the relay race is really, really important for the athletes. Marta Garcia Fares there, heading up hoping to catch up some of that time that was lost, unfortunately, with her teammate Inigo Martinez in his round as Celia Peria Pese takes off ahead of Sarah Dreyer. Lisa Moraschini in third and just stepping into those steps now, those boot holes.
Maria Costa Diaz, just there on our screens. Sophia Westling of Germany, who is racing with Felix Gramselberger. They were eighth as she took over from him, as uh, Sophia took over from Felix. I can tell you at the last lap, when these women took over from their male teammates, it was Celia Peria Pese ahead of Lisa Morisquina, Sarah Dreyer, Julia Compagnoni, Marta Garcia Fares, Maria Costa Diaz, Luna Dupont, Sofia Vesting, Haley Heifman, uh, Natsumi Uzi, and Alexandra Zvezdin. That is the order in which they all handed over. What you may remember this year uh, is new, is that uh, anyone who is lapped uh, must come out of the race. It's a safety concern, obviously, to make sure that the faster racers are not held up by, uh, are not held up, but uh, it's not causing any confusion or safety issues with slower racers on the course. Celia Peria Pese making great strides there to keep ahead of Sarah Dreyer of Austria. As we can see the beautiful scenery of Boitaul. Negristortes National Park. And away goes Celia Peria Pese of France. Back down to hand over to Robin Galando, giving him a good old lead there. Some lovely management of the gates there. Trust me when I say that doing gates on this, can these conditions, on these tiny, very light, one might say flappy skis, uh, is not easy, and she's making it look very beautiful indeed. So. Um, a great demonstration there from Celia Peria Pese. She brings out another set of skins to do that very last section. As you can see, a fresh set of skins there, just peeking out, ready to rock and roll, because she shoved the old ones in to her jacket. And Sarah Dreyer going absolutely great guns. A different system, as we mentioned earlier, rolled up. And Celia Peria Pese does those final dozen steps or so and hands over to Robin Galando. And she will move very quickly to the side as Sarah Dreyer hands over to Andy Meyer. And they are away. Maria Costa Diaz handing over to Ot Ferrer Martinez. Julia Compagnoni in that very last little skinning section, ready to hand over to Luca Tomazzoni. And away he goes. Robert Antonioli having taken over from Lisa Moraschini who has now finished for the day her work is done that's it the women are finished and the men are bringing it home
Andy Meyer, I believe, there. Getting a little jog on. To try and catch up to Robin Galando. Bangalando there in transition. Andy Meyer in behind him. Robert Antonioli in third. And as they took over from their Teammates, it was Robin Galando ahead of Andy Meyer, which is what we can still see. Uh, there we go. Uh, 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 yes, and then Robert Antonioli in third. Inigo Martinez, and then Luca Tomazzoni. Reasonably close between the first two. Andy Meyer will have Robert Antonioli hot on his heels as he takes off here to try and catch up as hard as he can to Robin Galando. to believe it's only the end of January. Uh, it's pretty warm out there. The snow is softening up, that is for sure. But neither of these young racers wearing a base layer in the sunshine here in Boitaul. Meyer giving it his all here to try and catch up with Robin Galando. This is the B final at the Boitaul World Cup. Here is Inigo Martinez. Into the last boot pack. Rob Angelando getting a bit of a jog on there. Andy Meyer needs to get those poles on. There he goes to get into four-wheel drive. Robin Galando will be delighted if he takes this win. He was third at the European Championships a few weeks ago alongside Candice Bonnel. Also third, as I said, in the World Championships here last year. So this would be a great result for him. And there he is 
just having a little, quite a long check out behind him. But he seems to have created a big gap here as Andy Meyer gets his jog on. As the Austrians call it, he will be, they will be in his head thinking that he is doing a bit of Vernern. Uh, that's what the Austrians like to call it because that is uh, the classic gait of Werner Marty, a Swiss athlete. He likes to jog a lot uh, and it's certainly something that we are very familiar with him seeing. Robin Galando having a bit of a shocker, needing to make sure he's properly zipped up. And as you see there, he dropped his poles again, as he absolutely should do, because you cannot do, make any manipulations at all if you have your poles in your hands. So if you pick up your poles and you have to do something else, you have to drop them again. Quite right, Robin. A very, very good example there of uh, how to stay within the rules and not pick up any penalties. Um, but it did allow Andy Meyer a bit more time, but he's looking pretty relaxed here, Robin Galando. Not really putting too much uh, effort into this ski. Robert Antonioli coming down beautifully, as always. Andy Meyer will want to be doing the transition of his life here. There's Inigo Martinez of Spain. Robert Antonioli comes in third to this last transition. And here we go. We have Robin Galando coming across the line to win the B final. And to be met, I should imagine, at some stage by Celia Pierre Pessé. Andy Meyer brings in second place. Congratulations from him, his teammate, Sandra Dreyer. He put in everything there to try and keep up with Robin Galando. But the young Frenchman just absolutely uh, nailed that right from start to finish. That was a powerful pairing of Pierre Pessé and Galando. Robert Antonioli and Lisa Moreschini come in third with uh, Marta Garcia Perez and Inigo Martinez coming forth. So there we are, we've had the first of the finals, that's the B final. I can tell you that winning the B final for today here in Boitaoul, Robin Galando and Celia Peria Pessé, followed by Andreas Meyer and Sarah Dreyer. Uh, uh, Andreas Meyer and Sarah Dreyer. Uh, Andreas Meyer really having given absolutely everything. There you can see he is still on the ground, uh, being looked after by his teammate Robert Antonioli and Lisa Moreschini in third. Inigo Martinez, Delbornos Marquez, and Marta Garcia Fares in fourth. And then Luca Tomazzoni and Giulia Compagnoni take fifth place. A disappointing result, I should imagine, for the Spaniards after a bit of a hiccup there. Two hiccups, in fact, that we saw for uh, Inigo Martinez. Um, but a great result here for the French combination of Peria, Pessé and Galando.
Welcome back and welcome if you've just joined us. Here are the results from the B final here in Boitaul at the uh, Vert Modi ISMF World Cup. Having a small moment there. Uh, you can see that the results were uh, Celia Pérez and Rob Galando took the win for uh, France. Sarah Dreyer and Andreas Meyer of Austria in second. Lisa Moraschini and Robert Antonioli of Italy in third. Marta Garcia Fares and Inigo Martinez del Bornos Marquez of Spain in fourth. And in fifth place from Italy, that's two Italian teams in the top five. We had Giulia Compagnoni and Luca Tomazzoni. Looking ahead, we are about 10 minutes, just over 10 minutes away. And so I'll leave you to watch the scenery and listen to the interviews. Una mica més lluny d'Amèrica. Sí, sí, tenim el Pep Ollé, que és l'actual seleccionador del Japó i és, podem dir, que és un dels millors especialistes de muntanya de tot el món. El rècord en pujar del Xixa Pagma és seu des de l'any 95. We have here Pep Ollé, he's one of the top specialists in the world in, in mountaineering. He holds the record of the fastest ascent to Shisha Pagma since 1995, so that's quite a lot. So you're Catalan, how come are you now in Japan as a national team coach? Well, it was a request they made to me after they contact the Spanish team. And I said, okay, if you need some help, I will well want to to help you and it was like that and now you live there oh no, no i still live in la sardanya and we are there i'm training with marta from the spanish team uh, well i live here in i'm not not going there 
Bé, doncs és el seleccionador, però continua vivint a la Cerdanya. Porta molt poc al Japó com a seleccionador, només des del mes de novembre, que és quan li fan, li van fer aquesta proposta. I com deia, està entrenant amb la Marta García, que avui no s'ha pogut classificar per la final A per aquest nou mètode que només hi pot haver un equip nacional a la final A. Bé, és part del joc, les carreres tenen els reglaments i tothom els accepta. La Marta està en bona forma, crec que ho ha demostrat i seguirà aquest any després d'haver tingut el nano recuperat el gas i estem tots molt contents que pugui anar progressant. El Japó, la Xina, són països que us esteu posant les piles en això de l'esquí de muntanya. Quina és la progressió que creus que hi haurà d'aquest esport al teu nou país, per dir-ho així? Bé, el tema de la pastanaga és que hi ha els Jocs Olímpics i llavors tots els països han vist que hi ha una oportunitat per ser-hi present. Aquesta gent no té tradició en aquest esport, tenen bones zones d'esquí, potser més la Neopols, els esquís amples i aquest inici, doncs, Crec que encara hi haurà temps per poder treballar i fer alguna cosa de cara a Cortina. És d'hora, perquè hem començat fa molt poc. Ara, amb aquestes especialitats que són més tècniques, doncs crec que, diferent de l'individual o així, que necessites molt més recurs, doncs es podrà treballar bé. Algú com tu, tan especialista en muntanya, és un orgull el fet d'ara poder passar aquests coneixements als més joves? Sí, crec que sempre dic que és l'impost que paguem aquí per estar a la terra de traspassar els coneixements. És una cosa que dius, mira, has estat un temps aprenent i agafant experiències i quan veus que ho pots traspassar i que això és una cadena que no para, doncs et posa molt content i és l'orgull de poder ensenyar a la gent. Doncs ningú com tu per poder ensenyar a aquests corredors. Moltes gràcies, Pep, que feu un bon paper. Moltes gràcies. Doncs el Pep Oller, com deia, aquesta pastanaga que deia, que són els Jocs Olímpics i que està posant les piles a tots els països com el Japó, del qual és ell ara el seleccionador des del novembre. And you can see that the... As we have the B final results on our screen, what we would... Ideally love to see is these great athletes lining up here, uh, which is the A final. Here we are, there is Tatiana Paller of Germany, tucking herself in beside Anna Alonso of Spain, Emily Harrop of France there in the middle in the blue helmet. There's Johanna Hemer, who will be racing with Paul Verbniak, her teammate, who we just saw there. Emily Harrop in the middle. Alba Di Silvestro racing with Michele Boscacci. Today, Emily Harrop, though, not racing with, Batis, uh, with uh, Thibaut Anselme. She's with Baptiste Elmenreich. That is Thib Dessin getting a pat on the back there uh, of encouragement from her teammate, Robin Bussard. The only Swiss team at the, uh, to take to the field today. Um, there are some, <laughs> there are the Americans, Grace Staberg and Cameron Smith. So as I say, the Swiss are with a very small pool today. Japanese pairing of Yuri Tanaka and Kenta Endo. And the Canadians, Haile Toth, Bowler, and Matt Ruta. The Polish team there of Ivona Janusik and Jan Elentowski. Ivona Janusik showing off the new Polish kit there. Yet another red uniform to distinguish on the mountain, but looking very smart indeed. Mariana Igachikova just putting her skis down there. Second row, far right. And here we have from Chile, Felipe Bravo. Uh, but going ahead of him is uh, Montserrat Alue.
Well, there's Christine Cavanier giving us the timings. One, one and a half minutes to the start of this. This is the A final. If you've just joined us, thank you for being here on this sunny, sunny day in uh, Boitaul in Spain. There we are. Emily Harrop, Batis Demlenreich, Anna Alonso Rodriguez, Oriol Cardona Call, Johanna Hemer and Paul Verbniak, Tatiana Paller and Finn Hirsch, Mariana Yegichikova and Jakub Sjarnik, Ivona Janosik, Jan Elantowski, Yuri Tanaka and Kenta Endo, Grace Stayberg and Cameron Smith, Montserrat Aloué and Felipe Bravo, Kylie Toth Oler and Matt Ruta, Alba Di Silvestro, Michele Boscacci, and Thib Dessin and Robin Bussard of the final pairing there of Switzerland. Who have we got? France, Spain, Austria, Germany, Slovakia, Poland, Japan, United States, Chile, Canada, Italy, and Switzerland. Jana Hemer there looking ready. And away they go. This is, it. this is a final and 12 spectacularly on form female athletes take to the course as the first part of the male female athlete uh, rotation, if you like, here in the relay. Uh, that is Johanna Hemer of Austria straight out there in the front. Uh, to her left, now on our left, Tatiana Paller of Germany. Johanna Hemer will be hoping to equal, if not better, her compatriots result in the B final where we just saw Sarah Dreyer and Andy Meyer take second place behind the French team of Galando and Peria Pesce as Johanna Hemer takes a really nice little lead there ahead of Tatiana Paller of Germany. Behind them, Ivona Janosik in the white helmet, sort of neck and neck there with Mariana Yegichikova of Slovakia. Tatiana Paller and Finn Hirsch, the pairing that is racing today, were sixth in the European Championships uh, in Val Terence, I, may, I beg your pardon, back in November. They were also sixth in Flen at uh, in Chamonix. In fact, I think it was the no, it was the European Championship mixed relay race earlier this month. Johanna Hemer taking a really good lead there. She and Paul Verbniak were fourth in the European Championships. And. Also fourth in Valterrance earlier this year. They will be hoping to make it a podium place. As I was saying earlier, the rankings for the World Cup are by nation. And there are some teams forming, some pairings forming, for example, in the smaller teams such as Austria. Uh, it is uh, more likely that they will stay the same. They don't have a very many female athletes for a start. Uh, I'm hoping that will change, but uh, there we go, and we see Johanna Hemer there taking a really nice lead as she heads off down this first bit of skiing for her first lap. And into transition, all on her own. Not for long, though, as Tatiana Paller joins her. Ana Alonso Rodriguez there 
2.1 is Ana Alonso Rodriguez. 1.1, Emily Harrop. 4.1, Joanna Hemer. She's already on to her second ski, but my word, she has some very big competition behind her. She takes a little bit of a slip, lost the skin, but she was already out of the transition zone, so didn't have to put her poles down. It has, however, given these other women just a little bit of a chance to overtake or to catch up, but she tries the tactic of pulling out in front of them to hold them off, but they're all very close together now. She has lost that advantage she had coming into transition. She has Alba de Silvestro on her heels. Behind her, Anna Alonso out on there on the outside, Emily Harrop of France. These are some very strong athletes uh, that you uh, would rather have a little bit of an advantage over, that is for sure, as they head round into these pit turns. Tatiana Paller coming up nicely there as well. And Mariana Yigachikova just in at the back there, I believe. Bree Stayberg of the United States. That at the bottom of our screens is Ivona Janosik of Poland. Following her, I think Thib Dessin of Switzerland, but up at the top, about to go into the foot part, is Johanna Hemer. There we have Kylie Oler, and just in front of her, Yuri Tanaka. Now, let's see how we go in here. Look at Emily Harrop accelerating through the field, overtaking Anna Alonso. She is so strong on the foot part. And it is not Anna Alonso's strongest area in these competitions. There is also Mariana Igerchikova. Emily Harrop is going into second place. She is now in behind Johanna Hemer and closing fast. She is now boot for boot and speeding quickly as we see Grace Stayberg in transition. And Emily Harrop has, by the looks of things, taken the lead. Johanna Hemer staying close in second. Alba de Silvestro, Mariana Yegachikova, and just gone out the bottom of our screens is Ana Alonso Rodriguez of Spain. Romain Bussard there getting ready to meet and greet Thib Dessin as Oriol Cardona Call comes out to meet Ana Alonso. Of course, Ana Alonso and Oriol Cardona Call are the European champions. From just a few weeks ago, Emily Harrop is getting her Werner on there. And she is powering away on this section here. Looks like Alba de Silvestro may have just pipped in front there of Johanna Hemer. Not quite, not quite. It was a trick. It was an angle of the camera. It was a trick of the light. Um, it is still Johanna Hemer ahead of Alba de Silvestro, Mariana Igachikova, Anna Alonso. But right at the front here, Emily Harrop. Not racing with Thibon Salmé today. He raced without her in the, in the European Championships and raced with Celia Pia Pese instead. She today is racing with Robin Galando, I beg your pardon, she is not, but Baptiste Elmenreich of Chamonix. And showing off her 
skills. She used to be a downhill racer, so taking these gates like a pro. As she pops in, Emily Harrop into this final transition uh, with a dozen or so steps. And there she goes. Hop, skip, and a jump. And she hands over to Batista Termenrai. And they're all away, the men, in a great big clutter there. Uh, that's not really the right word, but I like it. Um, Johanna Hemer hands over to Paul Verbniak. Alba de Silvestro to Michele Boscacci. Yegutikova hands over to Jakob Sjarnik and Anna Alonso over to Ariel Cardona, who will have his work cut out if he wants to defend his position from the European Championships. A couple of weeks ago, Robin Bussard coming up fast on Finn Hirsch there. So this is the first of the men's loops, if you like, uh, in the mixed relay here in Botaul, in the A final, in the mixed relay. Baptiste Ermenreich given a great lead there by Emily Harrop and is out first. Paul Verbniak very close behind. There goes Michele Boscacci. And that is Oriol Cardona Call, who has come up really fast, as you would imagine through his com competitors. So Batis Delmenreich in the red helmet, Paul Verbniak in the Red Bull helmet, Meli Kele Buscacci in the yellow helmet, Oriel Cardona Call in the black helmet. That should be able to help you a little bit if you can't tell from countries or the uniforms, that's often how I uh, am helped by seeing who is who. And Paul Verbniak gets out of that transition ahead of Batty Selmanreich. Michele Boscacci in behind them. As they head up into these switchbacks on the second part of their first loop. Verbniak looking strong there. Batis Demerreich tucked in behind him. Bikaili Buscacci in his very distinctive style. A little slip there from Batis Demerreich. As Oriol Cardona called, cuts the corner in order to catch up and make his presence felt amongst the top fastest athletes. Quite a gap there, I think, between all of, the, all of them and the rest of the field. As Robin Bussard comes up fast.
Overbniak out first, followed by Michele Boschacci and Batty Semmelreich. Batty Semmelreich falling back slightly. Oriel Cardona Call powering up these this boot section. Jan Elentowski of Poland. Michele Boscacci has overtaken Paul Verbniak on the second bit of uphill. Oriel Cardona goal, call goes into third. Batistelman Reich goes into fourth. Janusik there being helped and prepped for her next round, which will be happening very soon. Don't forget the women, they have a much shorter recovery period actually than the men because they, uh, the men go round a bit faster as Paul Verbniak takes on one of the most experienced ski mountaineers currently on uh, in the circuit. It's not normally his strength, this sort of race. He is a record holder for the Patrick des Aciers. He's a long distance, but um, I think everybody's making so much more of an effort uh, to be ready and prepped for these faster races these days with the Olympics coming up in 2026. And it is almost neck and neck, but Michele Boscatch is a little bit quicker out of Transition there, Oriel Cardona call stuck to his own skins as he looks like he would probably come out third ahead of Batista Manerai. Emily Harrop will have her work cut out here if she is hoping to regain, retain and regain the lead for the French team. Michele Boscacci, as Christine Cavanier is saying, a really nice race, skiing really, really well, powering up that hill. And as they come in, Michele Boscacci will be getting ready to, he will have Alba de Silvestro, not only his race partner, but his wife, as he heads into this last section to hand over to her, giving her an absolutely brilliant start to this last of her sections. Go, 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 and away she goes. Johanna Hemer waiting for Paul Verbniak as the Italians take off first, and away she goes. Oriel Cardona Call touches the bag of Anna Alonso, and away she goes as well. It is very exciting at the top here, and Emily Harrop will be powering through. There she goes, she's off, but she's got a good 15 seconds off the lead. She's gonna have to work really, really hard. Alberti Silvestro won the vertical race in Andorra last weekend, so she knows a thing or two about verticals, but here is the vertical European champion, hot on her heels, that's Sarah Dreyer, and there goes Thibaut Dessin. It is not Sarah Dreyer, I'm so sorry. It is Johanna Hemer uh, and Anna Alonso. And, uh, in the time warp there, of course. <laughs> Apologies. That is Johanna Hemer and Anna Alonso Rodriguez. and Finn Hirsch handing over there. Thibaut Dessin of Switzerland. Mariana Yegacikova of 
Just the back here, hot on her heels. You can see the new pouches. They're designed. Uh, I see a couple of the new uniforms this year have them. The Swiss, I think, started with them. Many of the others have them. The pockets on the slant, so it's easier to get skins in and out. De Silvestro heading up ahead of the pack with Johanna Hemer, Anna Alonso, ski for ski, followed by Emily Harrop, who's done a great job of catching up there. Albert Silvestro has a really lovely lead there, though, when she heads into transition to take her first ski down. Silvestro, an excellent skier, just cracking down here. As it is Anna Alonso and Johanna Hemer, and behind her, Emily Harrop. Now we know. We've seen it before and we saw a minute ago, Emily Harrop especially strong uh, when it comes to the foot part. You can see how fast, how fast. A little slip there for Anna Alonso coming out of transition. It's so slippy. Even with the sun on it, you can see that it is quite, quite, still quite slippy. As Anna Alonso just steps in front of Johanna Hema there, keeping her at bay. Thib Dessin has come up through the ranks, I think, uh, partly uh, thanks to the heroic efforts of her teammate, Robin Bussard, as Johanna Hema tries to get ahead there of Anna Alonso Rodriguez. You can hear Christine giving us a bit of timing there. 14 seconds lead. That is what Alba de Silvestro has. And Alba de Silvestro, uh, Johanna Hemer goes into second place there, head of Anna Alonso. Emily Harrop just sitting right on the heels of Anna Alonso. Pulling out now to see if she can get a bit of an inside track on this next corner. As Alba de Silvestro goes in to do the boot pack, the foot part for the final time today. Oriel Cardona Call sitting on the bike, just waiting, waiting, waiting his turn. He'll be getting off soon. Keeping those legs going, keeping the blood pumping, flushing out a little bit of lactic, but just making sure that he is ready to roll again. Emily Harrop is so unbelievably strong in this foot part as she comes past Johanna Hemer as if she were standing still. So, so strong on her feet. It's like a masterclass in running in skis, uh, in ski boots. Johanna Hemer, there's Anna Alonso Rodriguez coming up now in fourth.
Alba de Silvestro being hunted down here by Emily Harrop as they come to the top last skinning section. In fact, top of the course. She is Emily Har Alba de Silvestro into transition. Emily Harp right behind her, hot on her heels. These are both two excellent skiers. Alba de Silvestro takes off down the hill. Emily Harrop hot on her heels as Johanna Hemer comes into transition, but it's Alba de Silvestro who will be getting ready, uh, who will be finishing for the day and handing over to her teammate, Michele Boscacci. A really, really strong performance here from the Italians. Boscacci is off like lightning. Emily Harrop handing over to Batis Delmenreich, who will have his work cut out because that is one heck of a strong skier in front of her, in front of him. ahead of Anna Alonso and Oriol Cardona call. I beg your pardon. Yes, as we come into the Batis Delmenreich, but Paul Vervniak looking pretty relaxed there as he jogs up the hill, hunting down Batis Delmenreich. But Michele Boscacci absolutely caning it. And, and there is Oriel Cardona Call. Currently in fourth. Alonso there finished for the day. Michele Boscacci powering away into this transition. And it will be interesting to see how the next bit and the rest of the field plays out behind him. Because Batista Munreich, there he is in the red helmet, still in second place. But he has some very, very strong competitors right on his heels. Paul Verbniak, Aurel Cardona Call. And Robin Bussard. was Paul Verbniak. This is Oriol Cardona call. Not much between them as Batis Delmenreich 
skis in beside Michele Boscacci. Who's already a good ski ahead. Look at that lead. Michele Boscacci has over Batist Elmenreich. The engineer from Chamonix will need to keep his wits about him because look behind him. Oriel Cardona call, I think, has just overtaken Paul Verbniak. Yes, he has Paul Verbniak. Gone into fourth place, looking a little tired now. Michele Boscacci, though, just absolutely on fire as he heads up this extraordinary in this extraordinary race from the Italian pair that is Delmenai holding on but here comes Oriel Cardona call right in behind him and he is splitting off to take a different route and just showing why he is one of the best. Catching up there, coming into transition in second, Oriel Cardona call. Batis Delmenreich holding on though, but Paul Verbniak has dropped reasonably far back now. He was not well last weekend in Andorra, didn't do the individual race. Just feeling a bit under the weather, a bit coldy, and so decided to, the first time in I think about four years, to miss out a race, just in order to try and get some rest. Quite rightly so, but perhaps not back to his previous form. However, Batiste Elmenreich has got ahead of Oriel Cardona call again. Not much in it, but he is ahead. Michele Boscacci looking so strong, gliding through this bit here. Michele Boscacci, who in his other life is a cattle farmer. warm it is here. I think that is Maria Costadier cheering on Ordel Perdona call. But there's not much gap. Paul Verbnak has made up a bit of space there. And we just heard that Cameron Smith of the United States had a fall in his first lap and the American team are out, wishing him all the best. He's back just not long after a knee injury, so hoping all is well there, Cameron. Michele Boscacci just showing an absolute masterclass alongside Alba de Silvestro and really doing so spectacularly well in this re mixed relay race here in Boitaul. And he is into the last section. You can see the course there has changed. No more. 
and it's going to be so tight between Batis Demonerich and Oriol Cardona Cole as Paul Verbniak will be hoping that one of them makes an error and he can get on the podium because fourth place is the best that this pairing has done. But it's Michele Boscacci as he comes across the line in order to see and be greeted by his teammate and wife. And it's Oriol Cardona Cole. The Spaniards go crazy with Batis Demonerich in third. And a win for Michele Boscacci and Abade Silvestro. Second place for the Spaniards, Oral Cardona Cole and Anna Alonso. You see them there. <laughs> and there are the Italians. Wow, 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 wow. A spectacular and very exciting race there. France take third, Emily Harp and Baptiste Emmerich, Johanna Hemer and Paul Verbniak have to be will have to be happy with their fourth place uh, Médaille de Chocolat, chocolate medal as they say in French, and uh, Tip de Saint and Robert Bussard come in in fifth place. Just a spectacular performance there from everybody, but uh, particularly Michele Boscacci and Abode Silvestro, who takes another World Cup win. for her in two weeks. She won the vertical and door last week. Certainly one of uh, one of her most recent. That's two in two weekends. Congratulations to her and Michele Boscacci. We will be, of course, waiting to see the official results as they come out. For the moment, though, we have. Alba Di Silvestro and Michele Boscacci ahead of Anna Alonso Rodriguez, Oriol Cardona Call, Emily Harrop and Batis Delmenreich, Johanna Hemer and Paul Verbniak, and in fifth place, Thib Dessin and Robin Bussard. Look at that face. Look at that face. Second place for Oriol Cardona Call and Anna Alonso. And Emily Harrop and Baptiste Elmenreich in third. A very, very tight race, certainly between second and third there in the end. Material check there, which is very standard. So you just have to check that they arrived with the same kit.
We will be going to the flower ceremony quite soon, once everything is confirmed. to Rodriguez there of Spain. And here we have it for the moment anyway. Certainly we can see Michele Boscacci and Alba de Silvestro, Oriol Cardinal and Anna Alonso, Batista Munreich and Emily Harrop. Followed by Paul Verbniak and uh, Johanna Hamer, Thib Desamp, uh, Robin Bussard, Mariana Gachikova, and Jakub Sjarnik, Tatiana Paller and Finn Hirsch, and Ivona Janisic and Jan Elentowski. can see near the beginning of the race, Johanna Himmer was in the lead, but was soon overtaken by Alba de Silvestro, who really put in a powerhouse performance here along with her teammate, Michele Boscacci. result yet as a pairing in the mixed relay. is the ceremonies from yesterday. But I will always put on a great display.
An interesting piece of news just through for me for the nation's rankings thus far. But we will I'll come to that after we've been to the flower ceremony. Right there, taking their well deserved third place. Anna Alonso Rodriguez and Oriol Cardona call in second place. That will be make the Spanish crowd happy. <laughs> Alba de Silvestro and Michele Boscacci of Italy take the win in the mixed relay here in Boitaul. A cracking result for the Italians. So what I wanted to share with you as we watch these highlights is that we, as you know, this year have a nation rankings um, with all the mixed relays within the World Cup. And I can tell you that between Val Torrance, which was our first one in the World Cup in November, and our current one here in Boitaul, the joint leaders are France and Italy with 181 points each followed by Spain, a mere one point behind, then Austria, Switzerland, Germany, Slovakia, Poland, Japan, Chile, Slovenia, China, Canada, and the US. So, pretty much exactly what we saw today, almost, but uh, France, Italy, Spain, Very, very sí, tenim aquí la parella que ha quedat en tercera posició, els francesos Emily Harrop i Baptiste Elmenreich, a qui felicitarem per la seva eh, medalla de bronze. Congratulations for your bronze medal. Last year you won the gold medal, today is the bronze medal, Emily, Emily but um, still a very good podium, and this is a good scenario for you. Yeah, no, with Bessie, we're really happy. Uh, for sure, we really wanted to do uh, something good again today. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a cause that, you know, it's been good for us in the past. Bessie, it was uh, one of his first uh, A finals, and so that it was, yeah, it's just amazing. He was so on fire today, and I'm really, I feel really lucky to have been able to do this race with him. Diu l'Emily que ha estat on fire, que l'any passat va aconseguir l'or, avui ha estat una medalla de bronze, però que també està molt satisfeta l'any passat amb un altre company, last year with Thibaut Anselme, and this year with uh, Baptiste Elmenreich, so congratulations too. Thanks a lot. How did you find yourself on the course? Uh, so it, it was a bit warm today, 
but I was very happy to, to run again with Emily after the French Championship. And with this third place, it's uh, very, very cool to, to do it here in, in Spain. And I'm really happy again to, to, to run with Emily. So congratulations to both of you. Do you want to say something in your own language to, your, to the French audience? Only viva España. <laughs> <laughs> Ouais, on est... Moi, comme, on... comme on l'a dit en anglais, on est très heureux d'avoir de... pu recourir ensemble après les championnats de France. Et moi, je suis encore plus heureux d'avoir de... eu ma chance aussi de... de courir dans la première équipe française. Et j'espère qu'il y aura encore d'autres occasions de... de recourir avec Emilie. Felicitations, congratulations. Donc, les paroles des tercers classificats que Emilie Harro Blanc, de Satera, comme on medalla d'or, la conseguia amb une autre compagne, amb Thibaut Anselme, et ara ho ha fait amb el Menreig, no els ha anat pas malament amb aquesta medalla de, de bronze. Et ara tenim els guanyadors de la medalla de plata. Veniu, veniu, que tenim aquí l'Oriol Cardona i l'Anna Alonso. Oriol. Qu que fait aquesta, en aquesta última eh, cursa teva? O sigui, 40 segons has retallat. Uh, no sé, aviam, jo uh, he sortit a donar-ho tot, sabia que els primers els primers portava bastant de marxa, uh, però bueno, no, al final és un relleu, podem passar moltes coses i, i tenia una mica d'energia que he guardat de la, de la primera volta, no volia donar tot per poder apretar més a la segona i, i així he bueno, pogut arribar doncs, a, molt apurat amb el tercer equip, amb els francesos, que els hem tret a un segon i prou, però bueno, molt bé. In English, Uriol, you had to fight until the end. Yes, uh, it's a short race, but uh, yeah, I had some energy from this uh, the first loop, so I could uh, push hard uh, till the end, so it was nice for me today. Anna, marxeu d'aquí amb una medalla de plata gens malament, eh? i sobretot comparant-ho amb l'any passat, que no vau poder fer podi. Sí, yo estoy muy contenta, la verdad. O sea, yo he sufrido mucho hoy, no tenía mis mejores sensaciones, pero, pero bueno, o sea, muy contenta de, de la medalla de plata. Al final también para mí Corrasco no ha el poder un seguro porque sé que siempre está súper fuerte y confío mucho en que siempre puede remontarlo, así que estoy muy contenta. Quedan dos años para los Jogs Olímpics. Eso mm, pinta bien, ¿no? Sí, yo creo que estamos en muy buen camino. Catalá Oriol. Uh, crec que estem en molt bon camí, uh, tenim moltes ajudes ara mateix uh, del Consejo, patrocinadors privats, i això fa que, que ens puguem preparar al 100% uh, amb això. I bueno, les ganes hi són, per tant, crec que arribarem, arribarem en molt bona forma d'aquí dos anys. Moltes gràcies, nois. Felicitats per la plata. Gràcies. Doncs uh, l'Anna Alonso i l'Oriol Cardona, que han aconseguit aquesta medalla de plata. L'any passat en els campionats del món no van poder fer podi, es van quedar cinquens per darrere de la Marta García i l'Inigo Martínez de Albornoz. Crec que tenim ja els guanyadors. Yes, please come. I amb els italians tenim la Alba de Silvestro i Michele Boscacci. Congratulations on your gold medal. Thank you. It was a really surprise win this race. It's our first relay together this year, but we are really, really happy about the result. You know, I was looking into the results last year here in the World Championships. You were 11, and now the first ones. What, what has changed? Uh, last year uh, I was very tired after the race because it was uh, the World Championship, so it was a really long week with a lot of race. Today, fortunately, I feel better and uh, I get a super result. I improve, probably, I don't know. Okay, you want to say something in Italian for the Italian audience? Eh, cosa che dice? Se vuoi dire qualcosa in italiano. Ma eh, per me è eh, la prima volta quest'anno in una finale A eh, con Alba e devo dire che sono molto, molto contento perché eh, io non sono molto bravo nelle discipline veloci ma questo format è un pochino più lungo e riesco ad esprimermi meglio e così ho provato a, a fare il forcing sul primo giro e, e sul secondo giro ho stretto i denti e ho tenuto duro e abbiamo vinto e sono molto contento per me e per Alba. Congratulations, thank you very much. Thank you. Grazie. Doncs les paraules dels guanyadors, que deia que ho havia provat i li havia... I tant que li ha sortit. Si han sortit eh, guanyadors, li hem dit a, a ella, a l'Alba de Silvestro, li hem dit, escolta, l'any passat vau fer 11 i ara heu guanyat la medalla d'or. Què, què ha canviat? Ens ha dit que és que l'any passat no estaven en les millors condicions físiques, estava molt cansada i aquest any doncs, els hi ha anat de pel·lícula.
And we saw there the top three teams in the mixed relay today. It's been a glorious, glorious day. In fact, a glorious weekend of racing. And thank you for joining us. Uh, we will be back. Well, the ISMF will be back uh, in Villar next weekend in Switzerland with a sprint mixed relay and an individual. Then in Val Martello, uh, the 22nd to the 25th of February uh, in Italy, in Vigil Mixed Relay and Sprint. But we will be back live from Schladming for both the vertical and the sprint in the first weekend in March. Uh, so thank you for joining us. You can continue to follow on social media and uh, along on the website. Uh, and we will see you back live here from Schladming uh, in March. Many thanks for joining us for this fantastic weekend of racing. Congratulations sí, to everybody.